Hi, today we are going to discuss about source qualifier transformation in Informatica. Source qualifier is an active transformation, and the source qualifier is a connected transformation. It should be there in the pipeline, and uh, it should be connected to source and uh, next transformation. When you drag and drop. When you drag and drop a source into a mapping area, the source qualifier will come automatically. But there are some exceptional cases like uh, XML sources and COBOL sources. For XML sources, XML parser is uh, acts as a source qualifier transformation, and for COBOL sources, normalizer acts as a source qualifier. This is mandatory transformation to read sources, to read source data from the files or sources, and it will convert the data types into Informatica data types, Informatica native data types. That should, these data types should be understandable by Informatica server. When you drag and drop a source, uh, it, it looks like uh, this one. This is my source data. This is my source, and when I drag and drop this one, this will come automatically. So if you are if you are using push down optimization, then uh, it is compulsory to have at least one port of the source qualifier to have a link with source instance. This is the source instance. This is my source qualifier. So if you are using push down optimization, at least one port should have link from source instance to source qualifier. If in case if you are not using push down optimization then every port of sql tra source qualifier transformation every port of source qualifier transformation should have a link with source instance port that is mandatory to have a link otherwise the, otherwise a workflow will fail saying that there is no link with, there is no uh, link for the source qualifier port i am repeating again Source qualifier is an active transformation and it is connected. It should be there in the pipeline. When you drag and drop a source into mapping area, this source qualifier will come automatically. This is a mandatory transformation to read data from sources and it will convert the data types into Informatica native data types. If you are using push down optimization then at least one port of source qualifier transformation should have link with the source instance if you are not using push down optimization then every port of source qualifier should have link with a uh, source instance otherwise workflow will fail this is the source quality when you edit source qualifier transformation uh, th this window will come so if you uh, if you click on the properties these are the source qualifier properties. SQL query. Here uh, you can write you can write a, a override queries. You can write a giant query and we can uh, paste it here. You can use it there. If you are using two tables as a source and if you want to take the matching records, then uh, we can write a source or override query here and uh, we can. Uh, we can filter out the data using where clause in the uh, source qualifier override query sql query and uh, we need to make sure that the order of the columns in the port tab should match with the order of the columns in the given sql override query when you edit this sql override query window this window will come this window will appear so here here you can write a queries this is a sample query I have given select employee salary employee dependent number from employee table this is a sample override query I have given so when you edit this SQL query this will come here you can write a uh, query select queries and uh, you can you, you can join more than one table here you can join two three four whatever it is but the order of the columns in port tab should match with the order of the columns given in this override query so next property is user defined chain let's assume that uh, i have 
two tables employees table and department table i'm using those two tables as my sources and i'm joining those two tables and i'm populating the target table so here i need to join two uh, source tables and uh, when i'm when i'm trying to pull uh, fields from employee table and department table into one source qualifier then you can uh, i can pa we can pass it here the user defined join like employee number equal to uh, department dot employee number like uh, employee number from employee table equals to department employee number from department table we should we can pass it uh, we can pass a join condition here but you sh we should not pass on keyword uh, when you are giving user defined join if you pass on keyword then it will fail another property is a uh, source filter when when we are using uh, tables as a source then we can pass a source filter like uh, let's assume i have uh, i'm using employee table as my source and i'm i am planning to filter the data uh, like employee number equal to 1 so in that case i can pass it here like employee employee number equals to 1 so if i pass it here then the uh, data will be filtered out and the matching uh, the matching records will be uh, uh, sent to next transformation when when we are passing source qualifier we should not use where where keyword if you pass where uh, employee number equal to 1 then that will fail here in source filter you should not use where keyword just pass field name equal to value and other property is uh, number of sorted ports if you mention number of sorted ports as 1 2 3 then uh, the data will be sorted based on the uh, ports first port if you mention like uh, number of sorted port number of sorted ports 1 then the first uh, the data will be sorted based on the first port in the ports tab if you mention 2 then uh, the data will be sorted out uh, based on first two ports of uh, from ports tab so this is basically to sort the data and to, to uh, send it to next transformation another property is the tracing level tracing level uh, this will identify the amount of data uh, to write it to log file there are different types of uh, uh, tracing levels normal and other three prop values are there and next property of source qualifier is select distinct when you select this uh, checkbox only the uh, distinct records will be populated even though we have duplicates in the source table this will this property will be enabled only if your source is table if if your source is pl flat file then this this will be disabled and you need to uh, get the distinct records based on sorted transformation in the uh, in the next level this will not work if your source is fine this will work only if your source is stable this is to get the distinct records and to eliminate duplicate records and next property is pre sql when you when you pass uh, sql when you override uh, this pre sql then this uh, query mentioned here will be executed first before executing this transformation so this will be executed first and then this transformation with this mapping will be executed and then this post sql see pre sql post sql pre sql will be executed before starting the mapping post sql will be executed after uh, after uh, session when we after succeeding session this post sql will be executed So I'm repeating again. Source qualifier have different properties. First one is SQL query. We can pass override queries here. If you are using more than one uh, source in one mapping, then we can join. We can write a join query and we can pass. Uh, we can override. We can pass it as a override query. 
here user defined jack if you are pass if if i am using more than one table in my mapping and then if i want to join those two i can pass uh, only the uh, join condition here if you if you pass these two then the, the preference will be given to sql query the this will be the user defined jam will be omitted and next fill, next one is the source filter this is to filter the records number of sorted ports uh, this will be uh, used to sort the data select distinct this is to get the uh, distinct records and to eliminate the duplicate records pre sql this will be executed before starting the session post sql this will be executed after session we can uh, we can write sql queries in these two we can pass sql queries here for pre sql post sql we have an article in dwbuddy.blackspot.com dwbuddy.blogspot.com if you have any queries you can uh, you can comment for that article we will give reply thank you